Valley Farm family, welcome back to another episode of The Farm. If you're new here, you are most welcome. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already and also turn your notification bells on not to miss out on any episodes of The Farm. And of course, to all our returning subscribers, thank you so much, we really appreciate you guys. And we also appreciate everyone who has really been recommending this video to your friends and family. Guys, we really appreciate you all. Well, we are back at the farm. It is a sunny day, as you can see. Beautiful morning, the goats are out. As you can see, having their first meal before they go to the field. Yeah, so this is what is happening today. Today, I just wanted to take you guys through the rounds of what is actually happening today. And of course, you know, with our routines, some of them keep changing, some of them are the same, but I just wanted to be sharing with you guys the journey at Value Farm and what we are currently doing at the farm. So this video is all about showing you the routine, the farm routine, and also everything to do with farming. We have our male section, as you can see, inside this other pen that we separated. The males are having their, their shrub that we cut for them. Of course, in the morning, we already gave them their, their, the grain, which they have. So at least they're fed on that. Then they came out to have this before they go out to, to the field. Because it's still early and there's still more dew, there's dew on the ground. We don't let them go out to browse early in the morning. So this is enough for them, for them to feed from up to at around 11 a.m. in the morning. Then of course, we have their water points already prepared for them right here. As you can see, yeah, so we already put the water, the water is clean and right now we are harvesting more of the rainwater because it's rainy season. So at least our water tanks, we are using our gutters from the, from the, from the houses that we have to collect water here for these goats and the sheep. You may be wondering why we have the sheep and also we have the goats in the same pen. As you can see, this is all a male section and all this sheep right here these doppers are male these are young ones that are that were wind so we want them to be with the males this other section here and they live together the females are outside so we don't really let them come together that's how it is i know for those who have been watching us you know our protocol how we do it here males and females are separated so the young kids, I remember there's a time that we had kids right here and we were sharing with you guys when they were just born. Are you seeing those savannas right there on the background? Those were the, the kids that were really born and they really look amazing. They look very healthy, you know, they're now even going to the field already because they are um, with their moms. I just wanted to share with you guys that. Then um, what else should I really share with you guys in this particular section right here? The water point has water there. These females are also feeding, as you can see. These are mostly lactating mothers. That's why you see them looking the way they are right now. Because they would be bigger than this if they were maybe heavily pregnant or not pregnant at all. But most of them have kids. So we have our kidding season. We have time that we really put them to be served. So we do synchronization here at the farm, whereby we have a time that we always make them, we serve them. Yes, yeah, so we have a particular time that we serve our goats. That's why they all produce at the same time. So that's how it is at Value Farm. So all these are lactating. They're still breastfeeding their kids, as you can see right here. And of course the kids are with them early in the morning. And also now the ones, because they're really looking amazing and they've really grown up really very nicely, they also go out in the field, which is okay. The ones that we see that are maybe have small bodies are the ones that remain behind and we feed them from inside, from within the, the exercising yard. But most of them go with their moms to the field. Yeah, because at least the beauty about Value Farm is the whole farm is fenced off, so we don't have risks of at least these goats disappearing outside the farm or moving outside the farm. So even if one is left in the field, we can also find them later. Because we do count our goats every evening when they go out, when they come back here, so that we can be able to know the number of goats that we have and the ones that went outside. So every morning, the routine is we count there are goats that are right there, then also we count when they are coming back so that we can be able to have accountability of the goats that we have at the farm. So that's how we do it right here. 
yeah so these ones are still enjoying this shrub yeah they really love this shrub and of course we keep changing i know for those who have really watched our videos sometimes you see us giving them shrub like this and sometimes we also give them like banana leaves we give them the brocaria which is now being grown as, as well the supernapia we replanted and of course we are trying to make sure that at least we have enough feeds for all these goats that we have at the farm and the beauty is it's not only that the goats that we have at the farm we also have goats we have sheep we have uh, the cows as well so we always plant grasses for them at least to supplement at least to also have additional feeds for them which is really very nutritious so that's how it is guys well so i think that is it these ones are now sunbathing by the way before you they go outside they really love the sun like this one here <laughs> look at the other one sunbathing enjoying eh? laying down that's how they really love it right here that's why most times when we come at least the compound is clean before we bring them outside the compound is clean and they're just sunbathing as you can definitely see these kids right here were born at the farm look at these smells these ones these ones were born here look at how they look like these are really amazing i'm really so proud that we have such genetics right here yeah so that's how they look like guys then of course we need to clear this side of the exercising yard because you know with rainy seasons we have to always clear we have to always make sure that we weed our exercising yard so this part is okay but this other section right here needs some clearing as you can see because this one just sprouted yeah as you can see this has to be dug and of course whoever is responsible for the guys who are working on this section are the ones that are helping us as well i wanted to show you guys something some of those people who have been asking like things that we use for sweeping around the compound we utilize everything that we have here like we have the grass the sweeping brooms yeah they're called the sweeping brooms right here that we cut let me show you guys. So these ones are let to dry because when we cut them from the bush, it is quite wet. So this one is let to dry and we use it for sweeping. So we tie them, you can see. This is how it is to save costs from buying these longer brooms because the brooms that we have, like especially for sweeping the compound, we are not really we are very tedious because they're a little shorter so it's really very hard to always sweep so these ones here at least help us most of the time when we are going to sweep the compound especially like outside it makes even work much much easier than you bending the hold yeah so that was it i just wanted to share with you guys that yeah so let's go and check the inside of the house because the other goats that are there the hybrids are still there so let's go and check them out and see how they are doing that side guys let's go So guys, as you can see, these ones right here are going outside. It is already 10, so the females are being taken out as you can see them. They are eager to go out, at least after the morning feed, so they get out as well. The aura is very eager to get out. So guys, this goats right here are waiting for to take them where he's supposed to take them. They can't go anywhere else. That is the beauty with these goats. They're really very brilliant. So Otto is right there taking them and leading them to the section that is going to take them to. 
Then we have these smells right here, also going out to a different section. As you can see, looking amazing. About time for them to go. We're gonna sit while we ready. Dopper, do you want to see? The dopper. The real sadja. The indiga. Okay. So you can actually see how it is because the males are going this other direction, the females are going to the different direction. And the sun is already out, so it was time for them to really go out and even be out for a longer time because we need them to really feed enough. That's how it is. As you can definitely see. So let's go and see the cleanliness of this house because we need to check properly whether the house has been cleaned as well. Yeah, the compound is clean, but let's go check the house. Come with me. Well guys, the goats are out, so we are going to have one person who is going to come and help us do the re-cleaning here because before they went out, of course they swept when they were, before they fed, so we have to get someone to come and re-clean this house right here. And of course we need to also make sure the scrubbing is done this weekend. So what happened is they cleaned the other week because it has been really raining. We do not really clean the house. We do not scrub this house like every week if it's a rainy season. Guys, let's go to a different section so that we can see what is actually happening at the farm as well. This was this upper section of the farm. So let's go to the downer section of the farm so that we can see what's actually happening down there because we have different sections for these goats and different breeds and also the crosses, the high crosses. So we have different classes for them. Yeah, and of course people who are taking care of them are also quite different. So let's go to the downer section so that we can see what's actually happening, guys. Let's go, 20, 20 cars. here with these chickens with the geese and the ducks it's feeding time for them by the way guys we're in the lower farm of the farm we are in the lower part of the farm that's where we are right now so these ducks here we've just given them their their feeds then we gave them also some water to drink so this is what is here can see them on the other side. <laughs> they don't want to be disturbed. I'm trying to make sure at least the feeds are okay for them. That's what I'm making here. So most of you have been really asking us about poultry, how our free range kind of system is working here. So we literally do not do so much. Left to roam around, they're left to move all over the farm so it's not really as hard as you think as long as we give them their feeds in the morning the water points have water then of course the ducks have their swimming point on different parts of the farm that's what happens and of course these geese as you can see right here and the ducks we are supposed to be transferring them to the other side of the dam because we already built the boreholes for our animals so these ones are going to be taking over the other side of the dam. So that is the plan that we have at the moment. 
but we have already given them the maize bran and broken mix together. That's what we give them right here. So we have other ducks and also chickens because now it, this is now like a mix of everything right here. You can see on the background, the other side, I think the camera can show you. We have our roosters down free range they're all over the farm. Then we also have on this other section right here, we have our geese, I mean the guinea fowls. Are you seeing the guinea fowls? They're also like on free range, but how we tame them, we always pluck their feathers to make sure that they don't fly. Cause around the farm we have wild guinea fowls. So most of the time they like call them, they make the sound. And these ones are like attracted to go and find what is happening that side. So we pluck their feathers so that they don't fly. And now these ones are now, now more of domestic guinea fowls. That's why they are right here. So they are all feeding in the same place right here. And that's how it is. Then of course we have also more ducks and the geese on this other side with the, with the chickens. I think you can see from the other side in the background, that's where they are feeding from. So we have different sections. We are just leaving them to really feel free, move around and just enjoy themselves. But if you want really a detailed video, I think I will have to do it properly on how we have managed to multiply the numbers of the geese that we have at the farm, the guinea fowls as well. Though they're on free range, we have a system that we also follow to make sure that at least they lay in one place and they also multiply faster and how we are treating them as well. So those are the things that I will definitely share with you guys in a detailed video, but I just wanted to share with you some hints of what is actually happening today. So those are some of the rounds that we are making. So we have other things that we need to look at as well. So guys, let's go to a different section and we see what is happening. Let's go. We are in the, in the rabbits, rabbit house. Most of you have been really asking us about these rabbits. You guys wanted to see an update of the, of the rabbits. So it's still morning and it is feeding time for these rabbits right here. We still have our cages, as you can see. We have our nipples right here. We have our water points here, as you can see. Another point is that side. So these rabbits here literally feed on grain. Then we also give them some of these grass like this that we collect from our garden. So it is feeding time and I want to give them right here. Then of course in their water, we also put in some vitamin, multivitamin for them which is really very, very helpful. So let's just give them some feeds right here because they need to feed as well. I know most of you really thought we had neglected this project right here, but it's still on. The rabbits look amazing. You can come and see them here feeding. Yeah, that is just, we have here like five of them. They always like to to be in one space. So these ones have enough space right there. That's what I'm giving them. So what really happens nowadays is we give them um, these feeds, like the grass in the morning, then later in the afternoon, we give them the grain. So we keep at least alternating on the feeding of these rabbits right here. So. I wanted to just share with you guys because I know most of you have been really asking and requesting me. Tina, please show us the rabbits. Oh, this one looks so cute. Can I hold one? Come. Come, darling. <laughs> They're escaping. They're very shy. You can see some of them are right here so good uh, nice I still have enough food here I don't want to add them more some are still here so we also have their cages for the ones that are the females hi hi come Mm -hmm. So for the routine for these rabbits, before we go to a different section is, we do, have, we do have a routine. The routine is to clean them early in the morning, we clean all the cages, 
very well we sweep then we as you can see like here there is a wire mesh under it under the the cage here so all the droppings drop to this surface as you can see right here and you can see it is really slanting so the the wastes when we are sweeping go to this other side i don't know whether you can be able to see this this side here which is like also a, a gutter so when we sweep here it is easy for us to utilize the wastes that we take this to the garden as well so the wastes are taken to the garden then of course for the urine as well it is collected right here then it is taken we have a gutter that takes the urine to a drainage that collects it from so we utilize the urine from the rabbits we also utilize the waste from the rabbits for our garden the, ra the rabbit urine acts as a pesticide then of course the wastes act as manure which is really very 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 good for every farmer out there guys the housing of these rabbits should be proper because if the housing is really poorly built your rabbits are going to die they're going to get diseases they're not going to really multiply in number so make sure that you have the right cages you have drinkers for them you have at least aeration in the house so that your 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 rabbits can survive then also of course the lighting the lighting should be really good for this this rabbits right here it is important for them they should get some sunlight as well if you have even time you can always remove the rabbits and take them outside to sunbathe still have rabbits at the farm just because we focus more on the goats and the pigs poultry all that but the rabbits are still right here and of course we have sold some of them we've eaten some of them yeah so it's amazing it's a lucrative business and we are happy about it as well so guys let's go to a different section and we see what's happening guys this is our security right here summer that side let me show you guys before this one's go hello this geese oh sorry they've really multiplied in number because we have those ones right there then we have these ones here so the number of geese that we have right now amazing and they really grow very fast even the ones that were really little gooselings are now really big this is security for the farm in case you have a farm that side you have your poultry you have your birds at the farm Put this geese right there because they act as protection against predators. So these ones protect your animals or your birds against predators at the farm. So that is the use for this geese as you can see. I'm really so happy that at least that project has also been, you know, improving. It is working for us. We don't put so much input into it, but it is actually thriving at the farm. But I really appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. In case you haven't checked our social media platform, please go check it out. It is on Instagram, it is Value Farm UG. Then Facebook, Value Farm. TikTok, Value Farm. Go see behind the scenes. Go and get some inspiration and motivation from right there. But also do not forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. Till next time. Bye.